Hi friends, this is Martin Flood and in this video I just want to walk you through an online mapping resource called Nature Maps. It's actually a, uh, a mapping tool provided by uh, Duna, the Department of Environment and Natural Resources. And although it's primarily meant for um, the ability to help manage our state's natural resources, I've, I've actually found it really useful for generating a, a map for walking. So. So I just thought I'd spend a few minutes and show you how to get up to speed pretty quickly with generating a, a really helpful little map. So initially, let's just, uh, if, you, if you just even just go to Google and just type in uh, nat nature maps, um, and it'll be pretty much at the top of, uh, of your search there, nature maps home, enviro data, click on that, and that'll take you to the tool. Basically, to get started, you, you just click on here, start using nature maps, and you click on that and it'll just take about 20 seconds or so to load up. So I'm not gonna go through every possible thing you could do uh, with uh, all these functions here. Just enough information to get you uh, started with, uh, with generating a, a, a map. So to get started, in this top right, we've got a search bar and we'll just bring up um, the area that you're looking for. So for instance, let's bring up Dutchman Stern and we'll, we'll click search. And then over in this left-hand pane, it brings up all the results. So Dutchman Stern is classified as a hill. And let's just click on that, and that will take us right there. There we go. So from here, we can, we can just use our mouse, and we can back out or zoom in uh, as much or as little as we like. And if we move down here to this little icon down here, that, which says Topo, this gives us a couple of maps that we can select. We can either work with... Uh, a satellite view and if we click on that we that's exactly what we get we get a satellite view it's kind of nice to uh, check that out or for the, our purposes today we're just going to stick with topo and that'll um, help us generate this map that we're looking for initially let me just show you how to plot a coordinate so for instance let's say I've got a set of coordinates for a campsite that uh, that I know about so what I could do is I just go up to this general tools tab and along here we've got plot coordinate and let me just click on that. That brings up this, this screen here. Um, I need to select my units that I'm working with. And then we just plot our eastings and northings. So I know the Dutchman Stern campsite is uh, 780, 900 and uh, 6422, 800. And we just click Add. And that'll bring up what, the, what we've just plotted that away and there we go we've got our set of coordinates there now I actually don't like the way that that looks so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just even just right click on that and then I'm going to put draw a point and that'll just actually mark it for me initially and I'm going to delete this coordinate because it looks pretty ugly um, I mean you could leave it there but I'm what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go up to these draw tools up in this top toolbar and go to Erase, click on that, and then I'm gonna go back down here and click on this coordinate I've just plotted, and it'll take it away for me. So now I'm left with the, um, the dot that I've just put on there. What I could do is, again, right click, and then add some text. And I'm just gonna put in there maybe uh, Dutchman's Camp Night night one okay just to just to mark that there we go Dutchman's camp night one I've still got my point there so if I was plotting a course you could literally just uh, you know decide to plot any number of, of these points add um, plot a plot a, draw a point um, and then you could mark it or whatever in you know maybe another one here uh, draw a point and and you can continue to do that to, to mark your course so another really useful function here is something called layers. And if we just go down to the bottom here, um, here's the, uh, the tab to get to it, click on layers. And then we're presented with a whole range of different things that we can actually put on our map. Now for our purposes, there's a couple of really useful ones. One of them is called heritage and tourism. So if I just click on that and expand it, and then go to state, click there and, ex and expand that. There's a couple of uh, 
options here, trail routes and walking trails. Now if I click on that, that'll load up any existing trails that, 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 that are known about. So um, I'll just back out a bit and you might be able to see them a bit better. There we go. We've just, it's just loaded up um, the Heisen Trail um, down here. So that's the Heisen Trail. And it's also loaded up the Dutchman Stern walking route, which is kind of nice to know. The other thing I can do uh, is, um, while I'm at this point, I could actually, if I've got my route set, I could actually draw my route specifically on this map itself myself. So just with drawing tools and going to freehand, I could actually decide just to, with my mouse, very carefully just linking all, the, all my plotted points or, or decide on my route um, and you get the idea so that then just plots the course that you've uh, you've uh, decided on what else we got in this uh, so the other other layers that we can put on our map if we go down a bit further um, we'll come to grids and map tiles so if I click on that and, and expand it I can then put on um, the grid lines and so I, the, I find the one kilometer grid line is quite useful so if I just click on that and then you can see now we've got got the grid lines um, on, on the map as well and finally I'm going to add another layer um, and if we if we come down here to right at the bottom overlays and expand that a couple of useful ones here one is um, contours now as you can see the contours are already on here but if I print this off as is the contours won't print so I just need to tick that box and then I'm assured that these contour lines will print but uh, we can also adjust the opacity of them so as you can see now and then now they've ticked it they've become very pronounced but they're almost a bit too pronounced so I'm gonna back that off with this little um, guide here and you can see that you can back it right off or I'll just bring it up to about about here that's probably enough other things here, road labels, if you want to have roads named, um, it'll, it'll do that as well. So one other thing I'd like to show you is um, if we just go back up here to general tools and what you can do is if you've got a, a, GPX, a GPS, you can upload data from that. So if you've already got an existing trail you want to upload, you can, you can click on there, it'll, it'll take a, a GPX file you can upload it and then it will add that as another layer onto the onto the map that you've created. Okay, now to print this off, let's say I've, I've plotted all my points. Oops, don't need that. By the way, that's a good example. If you've actually ac accidentally draw something on the map, just go back to uh, draw tools and erase and click on whatever it is and, and you can get rid of it. So, um, Let's say I want to print this off now. Um, I've got, I've got, I've plotted my course. I've, I've got all my uh, waypoints marked and ready to go. So, literally, just go to back to general tools and print, and that'll bring up another um, window pane here. It's just loading, and a couple of options. Select a layout. I'm going to do a portrait output format PDF that's uh, that's a good one for printing and this is your scale this is a really handy little thing so now I get to choose you know do I want a 1 in 50,000 map or do I I'm going to choose a 1 in 25 um, just bear in mind that currently my view if I have a look down here my view is 1 in my scale is 1 in 18,000 so when I'm printing 1 to 25, I'm going to get a slightly more than what I see here being printed. That's okay. Um, and then title. Uh, if we go back here, just, just enter a title here. Let me just call this, um, so Dutchman's, uh, say, day one. Okay. And then it will just take a 20 seconds or so to generate that PDF file for me. There we go. Click to open map, and then in a separate tab, it'll it'll provide me with the map. So there we go. As you can see, there's 
I've got a bit more on this map than than I than I had on the screen because I've uh, changed the scale to one in twenty five thousand. My grid lines are on there. All my contours are on there. My waypoints, the, the my route, uh, and I can print it and and save it from there. So if I just go back now into the tool, and I'll just show you one last thing. If you get stuck in in any of this, what you can do is just go back down to the home screen, and then click on help. Um, help using nature maps here, and that'll actually bring up a f a, a, a user manual or a user guide, which is pretty extensive and it, it'll talk you through any particular thing you're getting stuck with. So that's nature maps. Hopefully that's enough information to at least get you started generating maps for yourself. Um, and uh, I hope you enjoy using the tool. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.